Hey guys, VR Nosy here. I am here today to talk about the AMVR Beat Saber controllers. So if you play a lot of Beat Saber, um, you've probably seen these on Amazon, and there's some knockoff ones I think are floating around eBay also. I haven't got those, but I imagine they're pretty similar. So um, if you're wondering if you should get these or not, let me tell you a little bit about them, and uh, let's get into it. So basically, uh, it's kind of a love-hate relationship, really, with these. Um, so you have one red one, you have one blue one, and technically I'm actually holding these backwards. The blue would be for your right hand and the red for your left hand to match the colors in Beat Saber. Um, and so I feel like using these that I am able to somewhat improve my, my scores. Um, I also oddly feel like I'm exerting a little bit more energy when I'm playing with these. I'm not really sure why, so I feel a little bit more tired when I'm done playing the song. They provide a strap through the bottom um, for you to put your hand through, and then you simply close it up like such so that you don't throw it. Um, your controller is in there really sturdy, firm. It's not going to come flying out. If you did let go, obviously it's in your wrist there so you're not gonna have to worry about these flying out these are very sturdy um, now if you hit something with it you could break your controller so make sure you got a big enough play area um, so the downside to these is really how much trouble it is to take these on and off which we'll kind of do here in this video so normally I actually use the AMVR uh, touch grips and uh, I love these things um, the problem with this is that if I want to switch between this and those grips, it's actually kind of a lengthy process to do. And um, so if you switch between games a lot, then this may not be the product for you because if you're wanting to put this on and take it off really easy and fast, you're not going to be able to do that. Um, I've even wondered maybe if I could get an extra pair of controllers that just uses these. I don't know how hard that would be to pair and unpair with my Quest, but something I thought about. Um, if you play a lot of Beat Saber and that's all you do, then this might be for you. Um, basically what you have to do is to take it off and we'll put it back on as well. You have to unscrew this bottom part here. And the thing is you have to kind of unscrew it a long time. And taking it off isn't as bad, but what you want to do is you want to unscrew it until you can pull the controller out. And you can see I can kind of maneuver the controller now, but I can't get it far enough out, so I have to keep unscrewing until the controller is far enough out that I can actually disconnect it. So what it does is you actually have to, to apply it, you have to take the battery casing off of the touch controller, and then you have to connect the uh, AMVR Beat Saber grips the same place that the original uh, little loop thing there hooked onto the touch controller. So it's starting to come out now. So now that we're getting it out, what we're going to do is we're going to pop off the battery cover and it actually just fell out. Um, so you have to pop off the battery color cover to, to take it off. Um, and what you're going to notice here is that inside you're going to see this little piece right there. What that piece is actually used for is to connect it to the touch controller. And you have to get this out far enough that you can actually work with it. And you do that by unscrewing the top. And the further you unscrew it, the further you can actually pull that little piece out. So I don't know, that might be enough. So what we have to do to put this back on is we have to take off the battery cover so we just pop that off right there. Now we don't want our battery falling out. And you're gonna see right there is basically like a little little hole with like a latch thing in it. That is where your original, I really hope I didn't misplace mine, that is where your original little loops go that you strap to your wrist. So what you wanna do is you have to take this and you want to basically slide that down into the hole. And it's kind of hard to get where you can see it on the camera. But basically just like that. And um, once you have that in there, you're going to take the battery cover and put the battery cover back on. So now it's kind of connected. It can't come, 
come out. Then what you're going to do on the top there, it says R for right hand. So that's the top. And you want to match that with the R on the controller for your right hand. And you're basically just going to slide the controller down into there. Once you have that in there, the next step is literally to start screwing it back in. So now you have to take this and you're going to have to just continue to tighten it. I mean, you want to make sure you hold the bottom so that the controller don't fall out. So you have to turn this for quite a while until it gets tight. And uh, the first time I tried this, I didn't think it was tightening up. It actually took me a little while to realize that, no, you just have to screw and screw and screw and screw and screw it and screw it and screw it. And eventually it will tighten. But that's the reason I'm making this video so you guys will understand and realize how long you actually have to screw this for it to work. It's not broke, it just it's a lengthy process. Now that being said, they do work really well, but it is something that uh, you have to be willing to do this if you plan to use these. So it's starting to get a little bit tight now. Keep screwing there. Okay, so now it's getting tight enough. Now it's tight. Okay, so now it is it is tight, and the controller is in there good. So you have to do that with the right controller and with the left controller. And you have to go through that process every time you want to take it off, and then you would have to reapply if you had to use other grips, put those back on. When you want this, you'd have to take those off, put these back on. Um, but uh, if you play a lot of Beat Saber, this is definitely worth it. It does give you a little bit of extra length if you hold it from the back. Um, and uh, it's, it's comfortable to hold on to. Um, it definitely, I wasn't for sure if this was really going to make a difference in terms of how it felt in my hands, but it does actually feel nice being able to just hold something that feels a little bit more like a lightsaber or like a sword when I'm playing, when I'm playing Beat Saber as compared to actually holding the touch controller. Now, one of the problems that I've noticed with these is that sometimes when you're in the heat of the game and you're turning these and you're holding it in your hand, these loops sometimes get turned upside down or sideways when you're playing the game and you've got your headset on so you don't actually notice that but what will happen is because the headset for inside out tracking actually requires your headset to be able to see these uh, rings around your touch controllers that's how it tracks when it turns upside down it can't track properly and so you may see your lightsaber float off into space because it's no longer able to track while you're using these so the biggest thing that you've got to watch out for when you're playing the Beat Saber is to make sure that the rings are facing up and you're not going to be able to see them because you have your headset on. So that can get kind of tricky sometimes. What I've been doing is holding it actually up toward the very top so that I can put my thumb right there and then kind of on the edge of the grip here. And then that way it's not going to slip as easy or turn in my hands when I'm holding it as compared to holding it back here when I'm swinging it around, it's going to end up sometimes sideways. So that would be my recommendation for how to hold these AMV R Beat Saber touch grips. As far as my recommendations go, I think it's really going to depend on you. If you don't change out your AMV R grips with other grips very often, then uh, it might be more for you. If it's something you change out a lot, you might this might be more work than what you actually want to put in. If you play a lot of Beat Saber, then this might be something you definitely want to get. I will say I think it improves gaming performance, but overall it's really going to depend on you, how you game, how you use your touch controllers, and uh, the, the other accessories that you use. But um, I do like these, and uh, so anyway guys, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you found this video helpful, uh, like the video, share the video, and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel for future videos. Anyway guys, uh, until next time, this is VR Nizzy.